Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a scientific investigation and data analysis when an accident, data collection when an accident occurs, guys. Okay, so first let us go through the concept of a scientific investigation, right? So from the name only you can say, guys, so basically here we are doing some investigation to collect some data, right? Yes. So what is investigation? So in, in the investigation, you'll be asking some questions, right? So what exactly has happened? So what is the speed of the vehicle? So what has happened? So we'll be discussing about those things, right? Yes. So we will be asking the three popular questions. Guys. So for each type of accident, three questions should be asked. So the first question is nothing but what driver action led to the occurrence of the accident? Okay. So basically, who is the reason or sorry, or who is the main role in an accident guys so the driver right so he is the guy who is controlling the vehicle and who may be the issue who caused right yes so we cannot say who he may be the issue right yes so that is the reason why so what is the action did he do so that this occur this accident has occurred okay so that is our first question the second question is what existing condition at the site could contribute to the drivers taking such an accident such an action okay yes so assume that the road is not proper and there is a hole in front so in that situation the driver has noticed that and he has just turned suddenly turned to the right or to the left and he hits some pole or something yes so in that situation you can say right so this is the cause so that will be identifying in this second question guys and the third question is nothing but what changes can be made to reduce the chance of a such act such action taking place so basically here what is the issue this pit hole right yes so in that situation if you just close that hole or re maintain or maintenance do maintenance for that particular road automatically they will be closing those holes and there will be no further issues right yes so in this way so the first question is nothing but what led to the issue or what is the action that the driver has done okay and the second one is nothing but on site there are anything which are related and the third question is nothing but if there is any on-site thing, how you can resolve it to work to no further accidents there. Okay, so those are the three steps guys. These are the three steps. Okay, yes. Okay, so we are also having four different approaches guys. Guys, I think these explanation or in-depth explanation is not in our syllabus and I did not find it anywhere guys. Okay, so that is the reason why I did not write anything here. The first type or the first approach is nothing but a single site schema mass action program route route action program area action program okay so these are the four different approaches which you can use for investigation okay so all the above four methods they are having some common steps guys so the common steps are nothing but like collecting data and all those things will be common right yes so those are the things which we, which, we, which are common so data collection storage and editing so how you are collecting the data storing the data and getting back the data when you require it so okay so that is one similarly identification of hazardous locations for further study okay yes so that is also a thing because there could be some more issues in the future right so if you just take care right now so there will be no not even a single issue right yes similarly diagnosis of accident problem so basically what exactly happened you need to understand it only then you can go further right yes similarly final selection of a site to be included in the remedial implementation program so if you want to maintenance or if you want to take that problem to the higher authority you need to have a look on it right yes so that is also mandatory okay yes so this is all about the scientific investigation is okay so now let us continue with the data collection so i hope everyone knows how you are going to collect the data guys so we are not going to find it somewhere on the internet right yes so that is the reason why here a questionnaire will be passed you can say guys okay so the following data should be collected so these are the list of data which we will be collecting okay so the first is a nothing but a location of accident so where exactly the accident has been occurred Similarly, the second is nothing but details of the vehicle involved in the accident. So it might be the number plate, the model number, the company of the vehicle. Okay, so in that way, so the details of the vehicle you can say, okay. Similarly, details of the accident condition of a vehicle after the collision, details like collision, damage, injuries, etc. Okay, so assume that two vehicles are hit head on. So in that situation, the vehicles will move backwards somewhere, right? Yes. So those positions are also considered here okay 
similarly road and traffic condition so basically how is the road or what is the traffic condition at that time okay okay similarly surface characteristics so basically whether the road is proper or due to some rain it is a slippery and all those things also similarly the speed limit okay so if you are driving over speed or not similarly prime there are some more primary crosses like the total cost of accident okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so basically whatever data you are collecting it should follow few categories guys or few properties so the first two properties are nothing but accurate so the data which you have collected it should be maximum and it should be accurate guys okay similarly complex so if there is any kind of complex type of data you need to store it okay similarly available so whenever some client or someone of your members who are working on that particular project or something if they want the values or causes and everything so they, they can collect it similarly uniform okay yes so this is all about the scientific investigation and data collection guys. so in scientific investigation we ask some questions to get the data and in data collection we will be collecting the data guys okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we will be discussing about analysis of individual accident guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching